Hey guys, so um, I just want to make a quick video. You know, when I started, um, when I started uh, my first business, my first online business, it was a graphic design and and uh, uh, we, what we used to do is what I started doing was actually just doing basic graphic design for uh, t-shirt companies. You know, you had all these budding companies um, trying to make a name for themselves and outsourcing a lot of their design work. Um, and so um, I was one of them. I had started a little online business when I was there in Sarasota. I was going to, to the Ringling School. And, um, you know, my, my, my assumption was that, you know, back in the day that if you build a website that people will come, you know, if they build it, if you build it, they will come sort of sort of a thing. And, and, and that's just not the case. If you don't market it, if you don't promote it, just like anything else, in, in business and in life and in, in professional development if you don't get out there and share the word and, and figure ways how to how to get people to to stop by and check you out nobody's going to stop by and check you out um, when it comes to business though and online it, it's up it's all about being efficient saving money reducing your cost and being as effective as possible so you know that I kind of found through through my different uh, ventures you know one business after another that um, little by little I found out that I was good at actually um, being the guy that would work behind the scenes and helping helping the startups helping companies find creative ways to um, to get that exposure that they did that they needed right how to grow um, a, a sale for a particular product how to get more more visitors to a web website and then more and more SEO started becoming a thing and <clears throat> And I started consulting more and more on that. Now, I didn't really do anything as far as online SEO for myself for a long time. But what I was doing is I, would build, I was building a platform. I was, I was outsourcing. I was sourcing my knowledge and applying it to, um, to all these companies that, that, that trusted me and wanted to, uh, to get some information from myself. So, it's, you know, I kind of found that that was my talent. I had these startups. I raised capital. Um, I failed. I, I, so I started and sold a few other companies. I started and, and managed and run, and now I co-own, but I let those businesses run themselves. Um, but I found that my, my strength, my passion is, is marketing, is how to drive traffic to anything, how to get, but not just traffic, though. Marketing is not advertising. Marketing is, um, it, is it, it entails everything in a business. Uh, your positioning, the packaging, the price, um, the branding, the story that you tell, it, it, the, the, the way that you're, you're, if you have employees, you have waiters, waitresses, cus uh, customer service reps, sales agents, anything, anything that is customer facing, anything that the customer will see is marketing. And and, and I, I find myself being really good at, at, at evaluating um, situations with context and meshing them up into a really good effective system that builds good marketing uh, foundations for, for, for companies. Um, advertising on the other hand though is 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 coming up with, with a creative copy, with a graphic, an image, and then pitching it to the world left and right on billboards, radio, etc. That's advertising, just interruption, marketing based effort to put it out there and get, get eyeballs on your on your on your products. Or your website now when it comes to to traffic and exposure there's there's a thing um, you know there's irrelevant traffic irrelevant eyeballs and relevant eyeballs you know profitable versus not profitable eyeballs um, and obviously as a business you want to get you want to get profitable eyeballs right relevant so as a marketer and as a business owner you will find that a lot of the challenge is not just driving traffic but driving relevant traffic and then and, and capturing that traffic once it, it, it comes to you because you don't want to go to waste, right? You're spending, let's say you're spending ad budget on Google, on, on SEO, you're paying for a marketing agency, getting your website redone um, to build a, a good sales funnel, etc. You don't want you don't want all that money go to waste once you're driving traffic to the site. But then you're, you know, they're leaving if they're not buying on the moment. And chances are, over sixty to seventy percent of, of 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 prospects and searchers are not ready to buy on the moment. So you need to capture their their information so you can so you can reach out to them in the future through an email, a call, 
um, retargeting, whatever it may be. So <clears throat> now what's the difference between between growth hacking and 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 just marketing, right? So so um, for startups here in San Francisco, you have you have um, you have this notion that your growth hackers are not marketers and that there's a completely different different effort. But in reality, again, marketing growth hacking came out of the term of of leveraging uh, your current resources, your assets into into um, channels that can be pushed and promoted systematically by your by your users, by your your the, your current exposed eyeballs. Right. So whereas marketing, people had this idea that marketing is advertising and it's not. So so Sean Ellis had to come up with with some some sort of, of description for what they were doing and they coined it um, growth marketing. But in reality, if you really think about it, uh, marketing is growth hacking, you know, marketing in, uh, and growth hacking. They both require that that you make changes to your business model, that you make changes to to a system, that you make changes to how something works to the product and, and build it in a way that it, it enables virality, it enables um, people to share it, people to talk about it, people to wanna to invite their friends to it and use it, um, come back to it and come back and come back and come back. Whereas marketing is the exact same thing. Um, the only, maybe the only one thing is that growth hacking may entail more on the digital side of things, but, it, but I mean, in this world, even marketing is digital. Um, there's no reason why any business shouldn't be online. There's no reason why any business is not um, putting any effort out there on on, on digital. Um, so it, it bec the 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 lines are becoming blurred as time passes, and people realize that marketing in itself has always been about growth hacking. Has always been about product fit, about making making sure that your what you're building is useful, is shareable. Um, it makes your life easier as a business owner and as a marketer. Um, to reduce your marketing costs because people are talking about it on their own. So, um, you know, in San Francisco, and you have all these startups talking about growth hacking. When in reality, they should just focus up on, mar on marketing. You know, they, 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 there's all these software as a service companies coming up and 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 selling their products to startups. If you're a startup and you have less than a month, you know, since you launched. You know, why are you trying to calculate the lifetime value of a customer? Why are you trying to calculate this, calculate that, and paying for the, for for so many different products and services to measure what? Right? You, I mean, you've if if you've been in business for only a, a little bit and you have maybe one client, less than a handful of clients, don't focus on any of that. Keep it keep it simple. Um, you know, kiss it, kiss your efforts, kiss all your marketing efforts, your execution, your strategies. And, and, and just stick to the basics. I mean, Google Analytics is free. Um, you know, sites like, like Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, they'll give you free data. And there's all kinds of research out there by, by marketers um, that, you know, a, a marketing agencies such as Unthink are like our, our marketing agency that are doing um, the research for you. All you gotta do is go out there, look for it, Google it, ask the right questions, and, and you'll find that information. You don't have to pay for anything. Um, you shouldn't pay for anything when you're starting out. So um, at the beginning, it's all it's all about getting that right customer and getting the right eyeball, the right traffic. Once you get it, it should be easier to capture into an email, convert into a, uh, a prospect and put them in that pipeline, right? And then close them. Well, <coughs> so um, yeah, you know, you got you have to learn and you have to and you have to be able to learn from others. Um, because otherwise you're gonna go through a very expensive learning curve and there's no point nowadays I mean you have so much information out there for you that if you're a startup and you're you're asking a lot of questions and finding and struggling to find people to give you those answers that's because you're not trying hard enough and you're not being creative right in marketing at the end of the day it's about being creative if anything I think a lot of a lot of the, the big reason why why a lot of our clients hire us is because we, we let them know you know what we work with you on a very low budget but the reason why it's so low is because you're not paying for all these additional tools and sort and SaaS software as a service products that we're gonna pay for you and set you up with. Instead, whatever minimum amount that, that you pay as a client to us, whether it's a hundred, two hundred, a thousand dollars, three thousand dollars, most of it is gonna go towards the team that 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 literally comes up with creative ways um, to execute simple strategies that work. Right, we're not out there trying to sell funnels. We're not out there trying to sell tools. 
um, we do the work ourselves. And I think I think it's just the nature of how the business started and how I work. Um, and you as a startup need to think uh, in very, very simplistic terms, right? Just be creative, get the word out there. There is isn't, there's no black and white in how to market any business. It's all about your creativity, how it fits your, with your personality and the culture you're trying to build and and just what works for what you have, right? You, you, you know, I, I ch- chances are is that the answers that you're asking for, you already have, you just wanna confirm. So instead of waiting for that confirmation, just get out there and do it, test it and, and go from there. See what works and see what doesn't. It's all about driving traffic and it's about trying to get that relevant traffic into your product, into your website. Um, that's about it.